Hello and welcome to TechRaven. I'm Nigel and today I'm going to show you how to quickly generate a QR code in Affinity Photo 2. And I'm also going to explain how photographers can benefit from using QR codes in their work, especially if you sell prints online or if you just want to drive more traffic to your website and promote yourself. So um, here's a picture of me. I thought I'd get this out of the way quickly because I didn't want to have one of those silly little picture in pictures of myself talking away while I'm trying to do a software tutorial. I find those distracting um, and they usually just cover up some important part of the software. So I figured I'd get that out of the way. Now, um, my main software of choice is typically Capture One for photo editing, but I do use Affinity Photo to use the Liquify tool and also to generate... Um, thumbnails like this for YouTube, of course. So um, it does have its uses for me and it's a very good piece of software. So Affinity Photo 2 and Capture One Pro are my two software of choice. So I'm just going to quickly jump over here onto um, the internet to show you the Affinity Photo 2 website and just to show you how much it costs. So if I just click on buy now, it's £67.99 currently in the UK. In America, it'll be about the same and it's available for desktop for both Mac and Windows and iPad. I use the desktop version on my iMac. I just prefer working on a larger screen. Now, I actually just did an update for Affinity Photo a couple of days ago. Now, it's May 2024. And when I did the update, it said, oh, click here to see what's new. Now, I normally don't bother doing this, but in this instance, I did. And when I clicked it and scrolled down, I was looking at what the new features were. And one of them that stuck out was this QR code tool. So Affinity have actually added this really cool QR code tool generator that's really quick and easy to use. Now, I never thoroughly understood what QR codes were. I mean, I've often scanned them on my television, on my phone, and it's taken me to a website or something like that. We all know about ISBN numbers on books. It's basically a barcode that's got a dedicated ISBN number that you have to pay for. And if you go in supermarkets, they've all got barcodes as too, but that's dedicated to that specific product. Whereas a QR code, if you don't know, you can actually allocate pretty much anything to it. So I'm going to show you how to generate a QR code in Affinity Photo 2 and how you can use them. Now, here's a hint. This is one of my personal photographs that I took not too long ago. And this should give you an idea as to where I'm going to be going with this QR code business. So back to this default blank page. To find the QR code, it's actually listed here with all the shapes. Now I've actually got the resolution of my computer set to 1920 by 1080, so my mouse is just gonna drop off the bottom of the screen and go to the very bottom of this list to find the one called QR code. Now, when I let go, my mouse is then loaded so I can just drag out the QR code and make it as big or as small as I like. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on fill and change the color here to black by just doing this. You can change it to any color you like. So I've now got it black and you're probably thinking now, OK, so how do I load that? QR code with information? Well, that's easy. Under data, you just click on this and you'll see that by default, I've actually got a um, my own website in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through the various options as to what you can put into a QR code. So you can actually put in just plain text, a website URL, a phone number, for example, um, SMS, an email address. And again, I've just put in a, a made up email here, info at photographer.com, inquiry about prints for sale. And under the body, I've got inquiry about prints for sale on your website. Now, if I click OK on that, if anybody scans that or clicks and holds on it, it's automatically going to open and create a new email with the email address already filled out, the subject header automatically filled out, and the first sentence of the body of the text, which makes it really easy for people to email you and get in touch. If I wanted to sell this as a print, I would go to my website and click Open Image in New Tab. And then across the top here, it's got the URL address for that. So I would copy that by doing Command C on my um, computer and then come back to Affinity Photo. And in here, I would go back to the URL and triple click this just to empty that out and then Command V to paste that in. So that is the actual full URL address of that particular print. And I can now click OK. And you probably noticed that this um, QR code updated live in real time. So for example, if I wanted to uh, 
get rid of all that and type in www.ncphoto.uk. You can see as I type, it updates. So that actually makes it simpler. So that is basically how you generate the, um, the QR code in Affinity Photo. I'm just going to paste the longer one back in there so you can see it updates again. So right now, if you were to hold your phone in front of that, it's going to basically take you to this page to show that actual picture. Now, as you can imagine, if you were a photographer, you could basically put something like this, where I put scan slash click QR code to buy this print. So if this was for sale, it would actually take you to that page on the website. Now, when I say scan or click, because if you're on your iPhone or an iPad or an Android device, if you actually click and hold that with your finger, it will actually come up with the URL and you can click open in browser and it will take you directly to that page. Or if this was to be printed out and it was a, a, a poster in a, in a window of a shop to advertise it, people could scan that with their phone. And again, it will take you straight to that page where that print would be for sale. So again, you can actually change it. Once you've actually done the QR code, you can make it as big or as small as you like. And you can change the color by going to the color here and just actually changing it to anything you want. Um, I just thought it was better in white. It stands out more in this instance. And that is pretty much how you create it. It's just a really quick and simple way to create a QR code in Affinity Photo 2, the latest update. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export this and I'm just going to open it on my iPhone and film myself uh, touching this with my finger so you can see exactly how that works. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go to File and Export. I'm just going to leave this. In fact, no, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Let me just change the size of this. So it's um, 800 by 1200. And I'll just bring that down to 95 and click Export. Just going to export that to my desktop and call it Test Print. And that is now saved to my desktop. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly open up my iPhone and go to the image that I emailed to myself that I created in Affinity Photo with the QR code. So in this instance, if I tap and hold, it will come up with the long URL address, which would take people directly to that page. So if this was a print for sale, that would lead people directly to it. Here's another example, again, created in Affinity Photo 2 with the QR code tool. If I tap and hold on this one, now you can see it's actually got a much shorter URL address because this time, if you tap open in Safari, it will take people directly to my website instead. Um, another use for these QR codes is, of course, Instagram. Here's an, uh, an image that I uploaded onto my uh, Instagram feed, which has got a QR code on it. Now, in Instagram, you can't actually tap and hold. It doesn't work. So you would need somebody else with another mobile device that they can hold to your screen to actually scan that QR code. And in this instance, it would actually take people directly to my website. So there's just a few examples as to how a photographer can actually use QR codes. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and watch out for more videos because I'm always uploading new content to do with photography, videography and music production. Thanks for watching and bye for now.